What's good y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel. Now in today's video, we have Chris Brown coming out and still speaking his truth when it comes to Diddy. Now apparently he's going to reveal how Diddy reacted when Chris Brown denied him. We all know that Diddy likes to play with long johns and tickle booty holes and stuff like that behind closed doors. And apparently your boy Chris Brown wasn't with that, so... He's going to expose how Diddy reacted after he said no, after he denied him. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop right into this video. The funniest part, like, I don't, a lot of people don't know, is Diddy turned me down. I was 20 hey, years old. Let's, 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 let's talk about it. So these artists, they're getting f in the ass hey, because that's wow. their ritual. That's their rite of passage to no get to the next TV. level. He get, he get drugged. They f this nigga. They, they, they f this nigga. Music is one of the most fundamental parts of human culture. It is always playing somewhere around the globe. Unfortunately, it looks like the music industry is becoming more vulnerable to fraud and scams with each passing year, sparing nobody, even the biggest names you could ever imagine. Chris Brown's recent statements about the music industry and Diddy's activities over the past two decades are devastating to say the least. CB has alleged that Diddy and the music industry have been directly pressuring singers to turn gay, and many have gone on record confirming the rumors, which is ridiculous, even by the Now, as it turns out, the bad boy mogul once refused to sign young Chris because he refused to give in to his sexual demands. If That's you want to enjoy crazy, the whole bro. story, then stick around because we are just getting started. They, they give them transformers, so you go, so they get high, they get intoxicated, and they have transvestites in that. Yo! They have transvestites videotape this shit. Diddy's elusive sexuality That's has insane. always been the subject of suspicion, but it was his earlier collaborations that really stoked the flames. Fans were left wondering what Diddy really wanted after hearing his Hope collaboration with Blood Orange, aka Devontae Hines. While Diddy sings about how he wants to be loved, the video shows two actors sharing a passionate embrace. He has undoubtedly gained attention due to his antics. Yeah, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, will you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you oh, when you're scrambling right here, right here. and scraping for no, 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 shit. No, 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 I, I no like that. Shit. However, that was hardly the only time. He said, "No, no, 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 nigga, I got it." He said, "I got it." And rumors about Diddy's private life surfaced. <laughs> he is reported funny. to be going wild at Diddy's homosexual parties, <laughs> and he is frequently associated romantically with Will Smith, another famous person rumored to be secretly gay. In June last year, on the heels of Chris Brown releasing his long-awaited new album, Breezy, the Virginia-bred crooner, joined the men of Drink Champs to not only divulge about his then-upcoming LP, but to also share some secrets about his upbringing within the industry. And oh boy, some details will shock you. The funniest part, like, I don't, a lot of people don't know, Diddy turned me down. I was totally hey, go watch this. Let's, 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 let's talk about it. The iffy singer revealed that he nearly became a bad boy recording artist, but Diddy turned him down. And for what? He wanted Breezy to sleep with him, yet he was just a kid, for God's sake. I'm a keep it 100. So I was like 12 at this time. This was before I linked to Def Jam. It was me and one of my production manager's son named TJ. He's my brother to this day. Me and him were like a group, Brown explained. When he added that the group was nameless, Drink Champs host Noor teased, this is why he didn't sign y'all. Though omitting any further specific details, Noor added, if you danced, he definitely would have signed you. But well, he didn't as he always does. Diddy only signs those who give in to his demands. But the whole music industry is <laughs> rotten to the core. Chris is just one of its victims. In 2016, Alexis, Benny Medina's ex-wife, said that the reason for their divorce was that she saw Will Smith, Diddy's alleged lover, in bed with record executive Benny Medina, her husband. Oh, this caused a firestorm on social media. Will and Jada declared they would not attend the Oscars that year because of the lack of diversity in the industry and the timing of these claims couldn't be worse for them. On Facebook, Alexis didn't hold back, calling the couple hypocrites and claiming that Jada was nothing more than a beard for Will. She even recalled a time when Will supposedly threw a tantrum on- Is that a guy or is that a girl? I, I can't, listen, well, all due respect, I really can't tell nowadays, bro. This shit is getting kind of crazy. But why are we just gonna? I don't think we can just swing by the fact that. I don't think we can just swing by the fact that she just said that Will Smith was caught in bed with another man. I, I don't think. I don't think that's a topic that can go unaddressed. So maybe we have to make another video about that. Let's continue. Set of six degrees of separation because he didn't want to kiss another man. 
Cherie Will's ex-wife disputed the charges and defended her ex-husband's honor while Jada kept silent. However, neither Diddy nor Will are the first public figures to be accused of being gay. 50 Cent, who is known for his outspoken personality, recently took a jab at Jay-Z in an interview by comparing him to the late gay artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. On a more upbeat note, rapper Rick Ross has recently spoken out in favor of the LGBTQ community in hip hop. Ross, in an interview with Funky Deneva, expressed his support for the inclusion of homosexual rappers and urged aspiring artists to go for it. Many wondered whether this meant Rick Ross was gay as well. 50 Cent may have thought so when he got into trouble for tweeting gay hints about Diddy and Rick Ross on Instagram. At first glance, the two appeared to be poised to kiss on stage in one photograph. In another photo, Diddy was seen hugging Steve Stout, a former record executive who was also wearing a pink shirt. As a result of the uproar they provoked, 50 Cent promptly deleted the offending post from his accounts. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f- what the- what you just said? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You're gonna make me mess up the wit. 50 Cent has previously questioned Diddy's sexuality, so this isn't the first time he's done so. Speculation was fueled by his amusing account of an occasion when Diddy invited him out shopping in a previous interview. The gifted musician and son of Will Smith, Jaden Smith, has also spoken out publicly about his controversial romance with American rapper Tyler, the creator. Whoa. During a spectacular Whoa. moment on stage at the Flognaw what? Carnival Music Festival in Los Bro, Angeles, what an unexpected revelation was made. Even though he was only 20, Jaden boldly announced to the gathering, I want to tell you, Tyler doesn't want to say, but Tyler's my motherfucking boyfriend, and he's been my motherfucking boyfriend my whole fucking life. <laughs> the audience was shocked and thrilled by this frank statement. Jaden's sincerity shone through in his uninhibited and honest disclosure of intimate details. As fans and media outlets excitedly attempted to make sense of his statements and his relationship with Tyler, the creator, the revelation prompted conversations and speculation across the industry. Jaden's epiphany wasn't the only watershed moment in hip hop history that defied convention and opened up new possibilities though. Frank Ocean, another brilliant musician, boldly spoke his truth. Frank Ocean came out as homosexual in a personal letter he released on Tumblr, discussing his upbringing and musical influences. Because of Frank Ocean's extraordinary talent and significance, this news sent shockwaves throughout the music business and beyond. Fans, colleagues, musicians, and members of the LGBTQ plus community praised and admired him for his courage once he came out and shared his truth. It was a turning point demonstrating the value of diversity in the music industry and the efficacy of self-acceptance. Frank Ocean's coming out not only struck a chord with his listeners, but it also sparked conversations about the visibility of LGBTQ plus artists in hip hop and beyond. Despite its many positive aspects, it was not without its detractors. Back in 2013, Frank Ocean made a stunning accusation against fellow artist Chris Brown. Ocean claimed that he had been threatened with a gun after being subjected to a homophobic slur, despite his earlier assertion that he would not pursue legal action. Reports surfaced at the time of a furious confrontation between the two musicians, which allegedly took place on January 27th in a Los Angeles recording studio on a Sunday evening. It was alleged that after the event, Ocean planned to file charges against Brown. TMZ reported that they had seen Ocean's police report and that the incident had been described in full. After a- what the f- Nah, this video is too much, bro. What the fuck is going on? What did it say? U.S. rapper sues TMZ for incorrectly reporting he severed his own Johnson, bro? What the fuck is going on? We have Will Smith's son saying that Tyler... We all know Tyler, the creator, he said it himself that he kisses boys. All right? He said it. <clears throat> got Will Smith's son. Got Will Smith. We got dudes cutting off their own Johnsons. Like, what's going... Today's video is crazy, man. Ocean's Today's video report, is wild. And that the incident had been refused to shake Brown's hand. Ocean reported to police that Brown had punched him in the face. According to the complaint, Ocean said two people in Brown's group had cornered him and tried to kick him as he overheard someone using a homophobic slur. Brown allegedly said, we can bust on you too, before threatening to shoot Ocean, according to the allegation. Ocean, although being severely injured during the three minute struggle, chose not to seek medical attention. Many people have said that Frank's courage in coming out as gay and utilizing his position to share his experience 
has been an inspiration to numerous others who have suffered with their own self-expression and acceptance, but some have questioned whether or not this is actually the case. Some of the famous guys in the music industry are friends, and some of them married women to hide the fact that they are gay. I won't talk about it openly, but defamation laws have been superseded by super injunctions, so I can't say much more. Someone who thinks the music industry needs to blackmail the artists into doing something incredibly gay. Concerned about the potential social impact of the music industry shift, one user wrote, music artists are some of the world's biggest influences to society. Particularly kids in the slightest think how we grew up and do everything we influence you, do it through entertainment gay shit is being forced on society shit not normal. Someone else mentioned that Jamie Foxx got into trouble because he made jokes about Diddy's parties. Jamie Foxx stated Diddy was gay and did freak shit at those mansion parties. Now, all of a sudden, he in the hospital about to die. This Say it crazy, with me. Bro. You don't find that suspicious in your best Dr. Omar accent. A member of the music business's inner circle shed light on the disturbing reality of industry executives actively luring musicians into a world of drunkenness and altered states. These vulnerable people are sucked into a web of deceit that promises them fame and It literally sucked. <laughs> literally sucked. No, that's funny, not funny. But at a high that's personal cost. But here's the stunning twist. Supposedly, these deeds are documented. Women are rumored to be involved as well, keeping records of these unbelievable occurrences. It makes one wonder what actually goes on behind closed doors. There's more though. The anonymous source confidently identified the infamous TDE as the culprit. The insider said that a video had leaked showing the musician in question engaging in inappropriate behavior. If these claims are true, it shows how vicious and competitive the music business really is. Selling one's soul to the devil seems like standard operating procedure in this game. Those who do not give up on these demands may suffer severe repercussions. Underneath the shiny exterior is a terrifying truth. But let's go even further into the artist's own brains. Are they aware that they are taking part in these activities? The expert reveals that they, along with other artists, have avoided the temptation of such immorality. The source also lamented the unfortunate end suffered by Shaquille Stewart, a figure who apparently succumbed to the evil forces within the profession, with the implication that Stewart took his own life due to the stresses he faced working in the NBA. The yeah. insider expresses sympathies and then goes on to say that the success of the sector is intrinsically linked to its acceptance of homosexuality. The insider's shocking claim that tapes exist can reveal the true nature of influential persons in the industry and that this is precisely what happened to Stewart is shocking. It's a shocking assertion that makes us all question what lies behind the surface. So, listen, man, I'm going to end this video right here. We have a lot of things to speak about in the next videos, all right? We got a whole bunch of stuff to speak about. But I'm going to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Let me catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.